It's the Opie and Anthony Show. we got lots going on. we got Basil T's here cooking breakfast once again. Hooper Avenue, Tom's River, New Jersey. want to thank uh, Stephen Farley for uh, cooking up the eggs and the, uh, the steak and uh, pancakes. Not bad, right? A little bit of everything. Nice. We got Gallagher in studio, and he was commenting that uh, this is a little different than other radio shows. Appa- appetite is uh, the smell. You need to smell. This is why we eat the turkey at 2 o'clock, because you can't last till 5 when you've smelled it cooking all day. It's uh, part of my idea to have a family reunion resort. You know, this would be a big room surrounded by bedrooms with a kitchen there for communing and bonding and cooking and having reunions uh, and getting the kids off the street from joining gangs by realizing they already belong to a gang, their extended family. It's what I'm doing in the second half of my life here. Instead of being known as the guy that smashed watermelons, I want to bring America's families together. Good, Good idea, huh? Good, good luck with that one. <laughs> well, what a hell of an inter- got, introduction. I, Do you I, have ideas on how to uh, accomplish that? Uh, sure. I uh, talk about it on the radio. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it uh, gives the, the idea out there. I'm quite a, an inventor and a visionary. You know, I have a new toilet that you can't throw the toilet paper in and back up, and this saves water. I made a contract with Niagara Toilets. They're being built right now in China. You, you really have a oh, it's an invention. It's, it's just a, uh, a chamber behind the water that mm-hmm. the kids can't get to with a float in it and a rod that turns the water off when it comes up in the bowl. But combined with Niagara's wonderful uh, uh, trough that they have so the water doesn't touch the flapper in the bottom. Well, of course. And so when it uh, you dump it over, it... it it doesn't leak, you see. It, combining the two of them, it's going to be a wonderful new toilet for the bars. You know, they always do it at the bars. You go in there, and you're, it's messy, and uh, we're And they jam that. up the uh, toilet, keep flushing, and, and then, then it I overflows. And I have an invention for the new uh, slot machines uh, for this generation of kids that's going to uh, go into the casino and realize that the video isn't as involving as their games at home. I was just at the CES convention in Vegas, and they had these beautiful games on the screens, you know, demonstrating the, the new uh, screens. And then I walked into the casino, and I thought, th- there's a hundred years difference here between the technology. This new generation of kids aren't going to be interested in these slot machines. So I came up with new software. Imagine three watermelons are coming down to the pay line, mm-hmm. right, on a Gallagher slot machine. They could uh, burst, break in half. Or or uh, or bounce, and you're a winner when the action matches, and not just the icon. Say naked or just bikini girls mm. are coming down on parachutes, uh-huh. and when they hit the pay line, their boobs continue, or one boob continues, or their boobs break off and bounce back. It's involving. It's fun. And it's then it has to, to match. At. Has to match. And- Say three My birds God. are flying down to an electric wire. They either get electrocuted and their feathers fly off, or the hunter shoots them, or there's a hole in them, or they squat and lay an egg. It could be involving and, and fun for everybody, and I'm trying to make the world a better place. Are you you decided... Doing, uh, I'm sorry. Are you still doing stand-up, or are you only concentrating on inventions now? I mean, I know you're doing the stress factor. It doesn't... T- hey... Going to a bar late at night and telling jokes uh, is not a real big pr- problem. You know, I got all day to. I mostly trade stocks until the market closed. It does inventing something it's all over the place. Are you a no. your day trader? I, sure. But, yeah. But I like I like to investigate what America is doing. Nobody's mm-hmm. saying anything about Obama and Hillary having a full schedule. You know, anybody oh. can. I like to work. I maybe sleep a couple hours, but I mean, inventing something just takes a moment. Just takes a moment. Obama, he needs to be a totally black guy, though, to get the black vote. You think? I think. But then Hillary's not totally a white, I mean, uh, a, a lady. You know, it, it's hard to find a total thing in America. You can't name one thing that's absolutely all the way one thing. Uh, mm. That's what I talk about. <laughs> wow. I think. In my act. Sure you can. You... <laughs> lunatic. <Right. laughs> I'm not a lunatic. You are, but it's not a bad thing. Of course you are. Your I am works. not. Your the mind... world is a lunatic. How about these kids don't pull their pants up? How stupid is it to walk around with your butt hanging out? You can't run from the cops with your pants half off. True. Uh, how dumb is uh, the sports? I mean, can you figure out what's a hard foul and a flagrant foul? Is it clear? 
No, no, no and it's important. Not. It's a judgment it's call. It's important, I, too. I do agree. You, yeah. And the kids in Chicago didn't know the difference between a spectator and a player. They leaned over the outfield, ruined the Cubs' chance of going to the World Series. Mm-hmm. I've been talking to uh, umpires, and I they admit <laughs> and they admit that the strike zone is larger than the plate. They've changed mm-hmm. the rules. Uh-huh. You know, it's got to be wider. Plus, we don't. You talked about steroids. Should the records stand that uh, were made before steroids or after? Yeah, why not? Because uh, athletes have been cheating all along. Yeah, it's always there's always been they've, something with the rules. They've always changed. been cheating. Hey, how about Whoa, Spencer? How about you want, that? You want to talk about an <laughs> idiot? Well, Here's yeah. a governor that doesn't know what's going to trigger an investigation, and that's his area. You know, Clinton called him and said you were paying for it. What happened to Spitzer? <laughs> did, did you get hit with your own mallet? Why? I'm just wondering. No, I brought this along because I want to point out it's going to cost me $5,000 a year to check this damn thing now. It's, uh, I take 200 flights. It's going to be 25 bucks uh, every time. You do oh. have uh, an airport baggage thing on I there. I just check it. You, you know? got to check it, yeah. Right. You checked the the Gallagher mallet. Well, they wouldn't let him carry that on, I would well, I think. used to. I used to just, you know, come on board and put it in the overhead, and there were pretty girls waiting on me in the aisle, mm-hmm. and the men drove the plane. But now the girls are the pilots, and the guys are in the <laughs> aisle coming up and down. I told you, they're... I look like a lunatic because I'm a smart, reasonable person in an otherwise ridiculous world. In an insane world. society, uh, that's uh, right. a sane man must appear insane, right? That's from Spa Star Trek. Everybody, Spock, Spock said that. How smart oh, really? does everybody <laughs> look Spock's owning a truck as the price of gas goes up to 4 and $5? Exactly. How smart right, I'm, I that's my with sentiment you. exactly. Oh, yeah. Everybody with a truck was looking really stupid now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's for sure. What are you driving these days? Anything? Well, I rent cars. A jet? Know. I, I rent cars. He's driving I, everyone crazy. I, That's I what he's driving. Around. I am because I can solve the world's problem. Lower California, you know, the Bay of California, they're the Baja. Yeah. Yeah. That's a perfect place to put a dam and get all that salt water out of there and have a whole new fertile valley so the Mexicans can grow avocados and almonds and never even come up into California. In the Gulf of California? Yeah, because it's it's been... You're saying drain the Gulf of California? Half of it. <laughs> halfway down. Halfway down, there's some islands. So you know oh, okay. it's shallow there. Uh-huh. Gotcha. The Colorado River drains into there, and it's full of fertilizer that comes off the fields in Arizona and Colorado. Oh, so there's some fertile we land under there. And underneath it is all those eons of the Colorado coming in there. The mm-hmm. silt must be it must be rich and full. And the, the drug lords could run this because they're not going <laughs> to stop growing cocaine and marijuana until they make money at something else. And avocados and almonds are the second and third thing that I pay for they're besides so hard to marijuana snort. and cocaine. That's right. <laughs> That's going to be a tough sell, though, to the drug lords. Look. No, it isn't. Avocados. The segue from coke into avocado. No, yeah. they want it just like the Corleones. They want to straighten out the family and, and leave them a legitimate business. Plus, it's in Mexico. That's corrupt. They can pay True. for it. And, you know, Al Gore's not going down there and say we've got wallowing whales that need this. I'll give you that. Uh, we need more arable land for food. I'm sure there wouldn't be one environmentalist that would uh, try to argue the impact of damming off the Gulf of California. <laughs> but you can't continually uh, turn farmland into suburbs. Well, oh. no, you run out of farmland. Here's an idea that creates new farmland. Come on, call All right. that a lunatic. I'm digging this already. Let's go. What is it? No, I'm draining I mean, that idea. thing. Oh, yeah. that idea that yeah. I wasn't What's listening to. What's the matter to? with that? Uh, listen, it. I, I apologize I like because uh, our our executive chef Stephen over there he brought in some watermelon. And I'm sure at this point in your in your career you don't really like looking at watermelon, do you? Now Colin I'm going to be smashing it over at the Stress Factory. Yeah, Stress right. Factory. You this are there weekend. actually, by the way. He Friday and Saturday. Uh, tonight, tomorrow. No, no, Friday and Saturday. Oh, sorry, Jimmy. Thursday. Friday, Saturday. Are oh, you doing Sunday too? Right. And yeah. Sunday. Wow, Sunday look at that. StressFactory.com seven three two five four five. Ha ha. You're gonna. How many HBO specials have you done? I mean, you've done a, a, a lot of specials. I did 14, and they're all available on four DVDs in one box for a lousy 20 bucks. What if your life uh, uh, amounted to 20? 20 bucks. <laughs> That's your. <laughs> 14 but, hours on HBO. <laughs> That's right, because wow. I'm not afraid to try new material all the time. These comics that go up and do their set without ever taking a chance don't grow Just say as Rich an Voss. artist. <laughs>
<laughs> that, but I do. I'll try something new all of the time. Well, listening to you talk, I can see where the being prolific comes in because I can tell the way your mind works. You're going from agriculture to the toilets. To the, I mean, obviously your head's always moving. So that there, there's there. Plus, in, it's radio. Prolific. We've got to keep this moving. How many? <laughs> you got to keep talking. How many miles an hour? <laughs> you get these interview in here, and you ask them a question, and they answer it really quick, and leave yes. you nothing to go on, and it's dead air. They'll say yes right. or no. Now, yeah. I have a reason to be on the radio. I want people, people to think uh, you know america's uh tradition is to be an inventor and not to follow others that's communism they should be individuals and not follow trends fads and fashions now now you did invent a lot of uh gag things for for your show wait did, a minute what about the what you... whole idea of smashing people steve yeah. Wynn just built a hotel in <laughs> vegas with a swimming pool in the middle of his theater in the round where did he get that idea did he pay me for it no they hand out towels i went to the show there because they dropped pretty girls into the pool and they said do you mind getting splashed i said i invented it <laughs> what the hell are you talking about <laughs> well i'm just thinking because now 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 you're getting into like legitimate inventions were you doing that all the time even during the time you were uh, inventing you know the tricycle with the window I've, I've been trying my whole life <laughs> yeah to be active this stops and it finally hit with a crapper <laughs> Hey, is the it, toilet. Is yeah. it true the toilet that you that the that the, uh, the sludge matic was originally uh, you invented that for Carlin and he said no. Is that is that a rumor? Or is it yeah. the truth? No. He yeah he knows it. I sent it to his address in uh, Venice, Florida, and he sent me back a letter. He's the nicest guy besides Richard Pryor in show business. Most everybody's a jerk, but. Um, but, but a lot of people hated Pryor. I adore Pryor, but a lot of people thought he was a rough one to deal with. No. The first time I met him, he invited me over to his house with everybody else on Saturday to have chicken and cocaine. And uh, and I went and it was great. <laughs> chicken and, was, and cocaine. Who don't you like? In, who uh, do, who don't I don't you? like everybody. They're everybody. All jerks. Well, name a few. Well, I, we love naming names on this show. We talk about all the people we hate in our business. Yeah, I don't necessarily hate them. I just don't respect them as uh, like who, like who. Well, they, they, there was an interview you did in the, in the Oregonian where they talked about there were certain comics you were bad mouthing. Like I wasn't bad mouthing. I was telling the truth. Okay, well, if enough. I was a reviewer, fair enough. Tell the truth. Uh, well, Jim Carrey, would you get in a tree and spread your cheeks to express your comic talent? I mean, what <laughs> art is this? <laughs> That, you know, if I was making that movie about the the uh, dog uh, or the animal uh, guy, the veterinarian. Oh, uh, pa Ace Ventura? Yeah. Pet detective? Pet detective, yeah. I wouldn't say, ooh, I can hardly wait to be on a full screen standing on a limb spreading my cheek. Or Jim Carrey, yeah. Come, that's, yeah. Got, that's the lowest form of comedy. You don't say, before me, no one was funny until I showed them their butt. Everybody knew the butt was a joke. Mm -hmm. you you, know? That is correct. But I got to say, Carrey is great. I'm not necessarily a huge what, Carrey what, fan. Uh, but he's great at what he does. Him. Like the Stooges were great at what they do. Slapstick. What does he do? He overacts. All of the actors that work with him in the movies stepped back because they were all trying to be subtle and real. Jim is just going over the top with everything and making it nutty. And uh, you know Gallagher's making sense here. You think? It's yeah. over. It's too much. I think he's right about uh, Jim Carrey like that. Really? Well, I yeah. watched him when he... See, I saw everybody when they first came to the comedy store. I saw... Uh, Letterman? Uh, well, I know them all from the very beginning, and I know whether they're you know naturally funny or not. And Jim was painful when he'd get on stage because his stuff doesn't work in a nightclub. Mm. And when uh, Dice Clay came out, uh, you know, he had to work his act up. And, and, and Robin Williams had no material. He's just a comic actor. And so he needs the comedians to show him what's funny. I, I saw him take joke areas and redo them. And then uh, one joke that he took of mine was... Uh, uh, I used to say that uh, old people should smoke dope because it makes the time go slow. Well, D Dave Letterman had a talk show out in L.A. at one time, and it didn't work. And he had Robin on, and Robin saw the ashtray on the coffee table, and he grabbed it and pretended to drink it, and he said, mm, good, makes time go slow. And I knew he got that from me, but he just took the punchline, you see. And he just, mm. but that's what... Mm. That's he reworked what, it a little bit. Yeah, well, you got to be kind of a good writer to know what to steal. <laughs> but he's not really, you know, a prolific uh, comedian. He's an actor. Why else? Here's what's crazy about the movie business. Why do they get comedians to do serious parts? 
I mean, why wouldn't you get a serious why? answer? Why? Spanglish. <laughs> it was terrific, i got to admit. Why do all no? these come in? First, you qualify you, to be an actor in movies you, trust me. by being funny, and then they yeah, give you yeah. this serious part. I think like Jim Carrey, I think he might have wanted to get away from that whole uh, wacky guy uh, image because and try to be a serious actor. That's why mm. he was just using it as 20 a mil, 20 mil a picture. That's what it is. Nah. They're, making them, they, they're proven guys who the people, people go out and see. Why. So then what do you just... Why you're actually person... saying that the, 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 the humanity, uh, the American people are morons because they go out in droves and see his movies and, why and you, love them. Why would you qualify to do a serious movie by spreading your cheeks in a tree? Then you get to be Truman and we all cry because your girlfriend left you or you live in a bubble? Or, Sounds or like Robin. you're obsessed with Jim Carrey. You know all his movies. <laughs> well, I'm using it as... Head in with that, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm using it as an example. Being very careful here because he is but, uh, sitting Robin, there with a the mallet. Robin Williams uh, uh, makes serious movies. Also, yeah. he's a Juilliard yeah, yeah. actor. He's a Juilliard trained actor. I mean, I think that was like his original. I don't, I don't like uh, Robin Williams stand up either. I think he, he people laugh and they just laugh out of thinking they should laugh because he's just coming up with stuff. Uh, in a rhythm, he seems a, to be on the top, of, off the top of his head. But it's not real funny if you break it down and and look what he just like said. Conan. It's not funny. Conan is painful. I can't believe he's getting the Tonight Show because he's a terrible comic. Uh, it's all about a silliness. It's never a full belly laugh. You just kind of go. <laughs> 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 and he had on the guy from uh, the. He just I can't him remember to a T. I can't remember the, uh, the the guy in this movie. You've been talking about him this morning about the crystal head or the. Uh, oh, uh, Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones there, right, uh, he had <laughs> Harrison he had, Ford. Right, he had Harrison on there last oh. night, and it was pretty painful and boring. And well, Harrison Ford believe, is an awful interview. I he, can't believe that they qualify him to take the Tonight Show. You mm. know, in America, we take the average. Or, or, you know, you just get used to getting less and less. Like, we used to get a nice meal on a plane, and now we get a bistro bag, and you have to grab it on the way in. And we used to have a wonderful anchor for the news, and then we ended up with uh, Katie Kirk, who was supposed to just do the on-the-street, kicky, little, cute girl thing, but everybody else dies, and she moves up. <laughs> And they give it to her, and they finally realize she's not an anchor, and you can't just make uh, America accept uh, n no quality and no competence. God and damn it, he's right. You know what? You're absolutely right. That tittering crap that people pass off in comedy, it makes me sick. You're absolutely right. <laughs> That's exactly what people Wait, are doing. Ga Gallagher's it, making sense somewhere in, in here? Yeah, okay, completely. All right. He's turned me around. All right. Conan, Conan is for teenage girls. That's who laughs at him, that funny little stuff. Mm. He tells a joke, it doesn't get a laugh, and then he does something else, some kind no, of... No, he he'll, he'll put his face right in the camera. Yeah. And do no, something gets, like that he, if the joke like bombs. He's like top. He'll hold, sh show you a prop, and you don't laugh at it, and then you'll go, come on! <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> asking for... But you did say that we do laugh at uh, Conan. How is it again? The... <laughs> <laughs> like, like Jerry Seinfeld jokes. I mean, I never belly laughed at a Jerry Seinfeld observation. You just Really? A lot of people found him uh, very funny, especially back then. He was the fourth in... funniest guy on his own show. If they gave out medals... <laughs> He wouldn't get the That's, prize. You know what? He's all right. Now you got me. He's making a lot of sense. What's funny? By the way, and he was playing a comic. Imagine being a comic and you're not funny on your own show. Everybody else gets a movie career. He's a voice of a cartoon. I'm a bee. <laughs> I want to call the Guinness Book of World Records because I think we just heard the longest sentence ever. Uh, Gallagher doesn't believe in periods. Best it's all commas and. Best comic Nothing? working, All most right. prolific <laughs> comic working. <laughs> Best comic working, you think? I saw uh, the HBO special of the guy who's the delivery guy on uh, King of Queens, and it was wonderful. Pat Oswalt? No, uh, James, Kevin James. Oh, Kevin James. He pretended he was in the water, and he did his arms like this and screamed like a girl when the seaweed touched him. And then he was reading a card, like a woman taking a, a, car, a birthday card or a greeting card out. Wonderful pantomime, use of his body. Uh, just... Kind of like opening your butt cheeks in a tree. <laughs> no, not at all. This was art, the art of comedy. He did a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful job. And I like the guy that you talked about, uh, David Tell. Uh, Dave is great. 
if you want to be gross and uh, and pornographic, you can't beat David Tell. I like I like his joke about I was having sex uh, doggy style with this girl. It wasn't anything I planned. She just fell asleep that way. Uh, uh, that's very <laughs> funny to me. I don't know. You don't put a content thing on uh, brutal or not brutal. Like you don't think. You don't, well, there's you don't certain think cleaner audience. is a higher form of the art than dirtier. I'll tell you what. You go to that club he works in Boston late at night, and you can't do a little cute jokes. you got to tell a joke like that because the college students are there. We're all drinking. Well, I was there. And uh, that's the kind of comedy that you have to do at fifth it place. I don't know what I'm going to be doing over there in New Jersey. If their you know, Sunday show might be real nice and polite, and i got to do political stuff, and I'll talk about you know Clinton and and uh, Hillary, and then maybe Friday night's going to be rowdy, and I'll need. What do you got on Hillary? What do you got on Hillary? Well, I um, I like to say that she's not uh, a really a woman uh, totally because um, we all know why. I mean, you know, uh, I think she has one ball. I think that the, <laughs> I think that's what it cost Bill for the Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> you know, you ask who's got the gonads in that family? They each have one. <laughs> Is what I think. Is, Who's going to be the next president? It's well, uh, the old man, John McCain, because mm. the Jews are having a problem voting for an Arab kind of guy with the name of Bomb. Yeah, I mean, if you if you don't <laughs> want people to think you're a terrorist, get rid of the bomb part. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is pretty crazy. He's he's as much a black as uh, as Tiger. You know, they're just lattes. They're only a half. <laughs> They're only a half. If, wow. if if he was really a black guy, he'd have a white wife like Kobe. <laughs> oh my! I God. want to hug Gallagher and, uh, and Montel and Tiger. <sighs> you said Tiger's not black though. He's got a. He's got a... He has a short Oriental woman. If you wanted to have an athlete for a son, mm -hmm. you know, why would you have a small wife? I can't believe Archie Manning. See, he he has both of his sons were quarterbacks, but I don't think he married a quarterback. I think he probably married uh, a cocktail waitress or a stewardess or something, a pretty little girl. You know, to me, an athlete like uh, Shaq, he should have looked for a big hulking uh, one of them big women from Russia so we'd have another big Shaq. Instead, he married this sawed-off little woman, uh, which he probably doesn't mind me saying now because he's divorcing her. But She was tiny. I saw her on vacation. What's he thinking there? She could have been more than 5'2". This is why By Bill four, Walton's maybe. son is yeah. a forward. Instead of L.A. having a new center, we have a forward because he married somebody short. We need to, <laughs> They need to think about who you're breeding Are you with. You're like, almost we, like Jimmy the Greek. Uh, yeah, you no kid. <laughs> well, why don't they think ahead are, if they want their kid to be... Are you, the, Callie, are you suggesting we raise a, uh, you know, super kids? I think <laughs> A we, generation of super kids, I'm thinking. You should think about it if you want your son to drop back and not yeah. uh, order drinks instead pass i mean it's got to <laughs> why don't to me if i was a woman i wouldn't marry a guy with a big head i mean just look ahead you know think about this if you're, it's coming between your legs to get a guy with a little pea head <laughs> could you imagine marrying shack god almighty what was that it's gonna burst you and she was little too i don't they don't think ahead i don't so you're saying basically genetically and stuff like that, you should you should think of DNA think, and genetics. Yeah, there's plenty of lesbians they could have married uh, from the you know with athletic abilities. Yeah, the where they just wanted to have uh, <laughs> oh a really good quarterback or a really good basketball player. I mean, don't they think ahead on this? <laughs> you, now you've been have you been doing stand up all along, or did you stop, or did you keep going? You you you've been doing because you always I've did, been doing it all. This, you have, right? That's what I do. You see, that's what I'm saying. I do the hard job of entertaining people to their face, drinking, which is even harder. And uh, the uh, these other comics, when they kick out and get a talk show or a sitcom, they're they're admitting that they can't do this. It's too hard, and it is hard. <laughs> but I've learned to do it, and uh, I've studied it, and I think I do a good job. I think if you want to have a good time. Uh, you're going to get your money's worth with me, which is the other thing I do is I keep my ticket price down. I'm not like Jerry Seinfeld. He's already rich. Why is it? Who's a hundred dollars funny? You tell me that. <laughs> Who in the hell is a hundred dollars funny? <laughs> for just for laughing at nobody. Why? And plus, he's already rich. He's I got yeah. like a billion dollars yeah. for the replay of of the shows of other people yeah. that were funnier than him. Why? <laughs> Why does he have to? 
t- we, charge $100. Gallagher, we have to take a break. Please stick around. Yeah, stress well, factor. You know, I've been listening to these sponsors, and there's some pretty nuts stuff happening in this. These, but, yeah. uh, of course, I won't pick on your sponsor. Uh, that's all right. But <laughs> I'm just telling as you, there's some pretty us. crazy things happening. Friday, <laughs> Saturday, and Sunday at the Stress Factory in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Yeah. 732-545-HAHA. Uh, uh, GallagherSmash.com. Well, stressfactory.com for ticket info. These will sell out. It's, oh, yeah. uh, it's a holiday weekend, obviously. Uh, so just get tickets because the, the Stress Factory always it's sells out. It's not sold But out. it will sell I, out. I wouldn't be here if the tickets Believe me. <laughs> we know that, but it will sell out. It will not. And it, it's small. I, I, I'm working my way down. I would, I would go to the Stress Factory just it's to watch another, Gallagher finally lose I wouldn't be his here mind. If the tickets were selling. All right, with that, we got to take a break. Opie and Anthony, stay there. We're back as Opie makes his way back into the studio. We're back with my new favorite person alive, <laughs> Gallagher, who I have been enjoying on this show with all of you and then chit-chatting in, uh, in break. It's so it's refreshing to see an honesty that you just don't see, yeah. uh, especially in I wanna, in I want to work on a joke about this Lou uh, Pearlman that they caught in Malaysia. Ran away with the three hundred million. He's already making all the money on the Backstreet Boys, and he's got to cheat his investors. But there's got to be a joke here. Uh, he went to Malaysia, which is of course a back street, and where you can buy boys. Ask Michael. <laughs> <laughs> there's got to be a joke, and they caught him in Guam, uh, right? Because yeah. mm. Malaysia kicked him out. That's got to be wow. a real insult. That even Malaysia didn't want. He's to. going to jail for how long? Uh, Twenty-five years. Twenty-five years. The boy band he'll creator. Die, yeah, yeah. He's older already. I mean, he ain't going to last this. But he was in Orlando, and uh, and why did he have to cheat? I mean, it's just like Spitzer. Just shut up about the prostitutes or figure out a way of getting it <laughs> off without everybody knowing you idiot uh i can't you know we did, wouldn't need the word stupid if it wasn't for people i never see animals uh, do a stupid you ever see a dog like just walk into a wall because he ain't watching or uh you ever drop something next to a table and you reach down to pick it up and hit your face on the table i mean it's just i see people pick stuff out of their teeth look at it and put it back in their mouth I mean, <laughs> the object was to get it out of i think this is why the flying saucers don't land they can smell stupid <laughs> Somehow they've got some ray that can tell. They hover over the cities, and then they notice a traffic jam made of off-road vehicles. Why, if you can drive anywhere, would you stay in the line of traffic, you schmucks? You know, I mean, why get a four-wheel drive and stay on? And they always have a name like they go off-road, Pathfinder or Caravan, and they're going to the Yukon or something even more out there, Tacoma. You know, or Tahoe. I don't think you should put hoe on the outside of your truck. I think hoe goes in your truck. Well, hoe gets out as soon as you pay her. <laughs> Leave something on the side of the inside of the window. And he also has a problem with, like, getting free furniture and stuff. Well, what's the problem with getting free furniture where you don't have to pay I, for a while? It's honest. I'm just saying these advertisements are pretending they're your friend and they're not your friend. <laughs> you know, they pre- zero percent. You're going to pay one way or another. They're just making you think you got something how, about, how can you yeah. stay in business if you're a schmuck and you don't charge right how about and you don't pay for a year the, i don't get that i absolutely don't understand how who's pay who pays the interest on it and and uh just to provoke a sale i don't hmm. get it i mean what do you get back if they don't pay you get a rug they've walked on for a year that's a good <laughs> idea I mean, you got to get your money down. I don't see how that works. I'm not complaining. I mean, it's it sounds great for the average person. Average people need a break in this town. My cab driver complained when I got in. I said, I'm going on the radio. He says, tell them there used to be a building over here with a $15 room, and now it's a, a hotel, and there's no place for us to stay. Imagine $15 a night for a room in mm-hmm. New York. Well, I got out of the, uh, the train at Grants at uh, Madison Square Garden, which, of course, is round and shouldn't be called. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I went across to the Athena Hotel. I got their last room. It's next to the service elevator, so that thing grinds all night. It's a tiny little room, 200 bucks, which I thought I was getting screwed till I went on Central Park South here. It's $800. Yeah. 
Yeah, I stayed at the Empire. It was four hundred dollars, but You're the average on average, yes, yeah, about three, four hundred dollars a night to a stay night. in Manhattan in well, a hotel. Well, I stayed here because it was close to here, and I needed to be mm -hmm. here in the morning. You guys cost me two hundred bucks. Oh, look at what! Look, oh, it's the big oh, birthday cake. Uh, wow, look at this! Oh boy, Gallagher, I'm sorry to interrupt your uh, uh, somebody's your No, it makes a but... lot of sense to talk about vitamins and then have a cake full of sugar. <laughs> Yeah. Why Just, is there like how many cakes are there? This is a, a, a wonderful down. tradition. <laughs> wonderful Celebrating tradition. your living a long time by dying. <laughs> <laughs> Put this in your Wait, artery. Wait, why is there so many? How many birthdays are we celebrating? One. Everybody loves you. <laughs> oh, Kenny. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> huh? Why do we have three birthday cakes? Hey, Gallagher, do me a favor and yeah. smash one of these birthday cakes okay. with your mouth. I'm serious. I do every night. I'm serious. I bring people on stage who have a birthday, and I smash a cake in their face <laughs> and give them a memory. You know when you die, your life flashes before your eyes. Yeah. I want to be there. You yeah. want to be one I of want those it to moments. Be me. <laughs> uh, we got to smash one of these cakes. Well, you won't what, be able to one? clean it up. Sugar, the frosting just smears when you try to clean it. And Not it that is. one. That's we the good one. Oh, why? Oh. What? How does it blow out candles. one of the cake? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, See, he's a Gallagher nose stains. Yeah. He yeah. <laughs> knows carpet stains. Well, get one you know, of that one uh, that smears the icing. Blood, very hard to get out. <laughs> hey, I do know. Kenny, put one of these cakes in front of him. I want to tempt him. Not the good one. I know which one was the what good one. What do you mean, one. tempt him? What, yeah, what that's the good one? No, yeah. the good one's away. The good one's away. I'm not a nut. You already said yeah. I'm smart. Let's come on. You're very smart. It. It doesn't smash on the floor. Yeah, you no, got to get it up. Yeah, let's, that it, let's yeah. get the damn You got to get it up. Now we're talking. <laughs> That'll be ele yeah. elevated. You Gallagher. don't want to smash a cake in a room full of electronics. <laughs> I'm Do you understand you. how right much of a mess that's going to make? Well, yeah. I would well, right yeah. by me. Well, you that's better good. get it on. You better get it on video there. You might want to go by. Plus, you only got one shot at this. You've got sides on it. Why are you? I thought well, you didn't so want to. What are you what? doing? Oh, boy. I, well, I'm just making a video if you're just going to. No. Plus, it's it's not tall enough. You'd need to fold this in half to really do it. What is he doing? He's you're folding just, that cake. He knows he's what he's doing. He's folding my cake that's, in half. What are you that's doing, how Gallagher? You just do, you still cake do, you, do you smoke pot? No, I had a heart attack in the year 2000. Have you ever seen me on my videos? Yeah, of course. I was stoned. There is no video of me straight. I do not exist except this video now. I can't. I didn't smoke. I quit smoking when I almost died. When you almost die, you change your lifestyle. How bad was the heart attack? Well, it, it's near death. That's what happens with a heart attack. But you I got a lot one. of energy. It looks like you're doing the right thing. Well, Taking you never care of know. It's plumbing. It, it, it's, you're fine until it clogs, and then you need a plumber. Right. <laughs> and you have to pay him $50,000 to clean your artery. You know what they do when you have a heart attack? Uh. They give you a blood thinner, then they cut a major artery. Yeah. This is how smart they are at the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, of course, they woke me up and told me it was time for my sleeping pill. So I knew I wasn't <laughs> with the smartest people. Well, once you – it would Gee, be an I, honor. It is not an honor. You it would be an honor. It's my birthday and Gallagher is smashing my care. cake. This is great. Be, we don't uh, care. We don't care. We don't have to clean this up. Uh-oh, oh, Gallagher. Hold on. Here oh, we go. Oh, <laughs> He's picking up the mallet. Hold on. You better get a good shot of this. Right <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't want – hold on. Hold on. Iraq. Happy birthday. Dan's cake. No. Dan's cake. Dan's, Dan's cake. Dan, please. Dan, you want in? Yes, he does. Dan, Neil. Because oh, it is God, Dan's birthday, does too. Do, Dan does not want to do this. Wait, you might want to get the other side. I don't know. How do we film this for you, Gallagher? Just, we got a yeah, birthday right cake. Right uh, Dan celebrated uh, his 30th right birthday here. last weekend. Uh, it's it's my birthday tomorrow. Gallagher's setting up the smashing of the birthday cake. This is unbelievable, everybody. There you go. Oh, boy. Oh, he's, he's trying to cover up stuff in the studio. Why, why are we covering okay, things up? Kneel down. All right, kneel down. Oh, Watch wait, out, Mike. Wait, 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 Mike, Gallagher. Wait, 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 wait. It's going to hit you in the chest. It's a split there. All right, wait, <laughs> Gallagher, Gallagher. Hold on. Open your mouth. Hold. Open your mouth, fan, please. Wait, wait, should we get the... Ow, wait, wait, wait. Get, sit on the... Ca do you have a good shot of this? Yeah. He's only yeah, going to do it, it once. He's got it. Happy All right. birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man is, man is Safe to say there's cake 
everywhere. Oh wow, you really everywhere. Read. And he just ate it. <laughs> and now he's eating cake off Than's He's eating it off a Than's stomach. Oh, oh boy. And, and now he's got cake all over his face. Gallagher's going to be at the stress factory this weekend. 732-545-4242. Yeah. Yeah, one more, one yeah, more. Yeah. Oh, is he... <laughs> He's insane, this he uh, Gallagher. Great. Two shows tonight, uh, Friday, two shows Saturday, one show Sunday. <laughs> what if I hadn't brought the hammer in? <laughs> well, I don't think you go anywhere without it, right? <laughs> There's cake everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Oh, look at the couch. <laughs> the couch Why are you sitting in the cake there, Gallagher? I'm sitting in a place where there's not cake. <laughs> oh there's cake everywhere. There's a little pile for you. Come on. Um, I'm uh, ready uh, a mess. That's when you can make a mess. When there is a mess. Come on, hit this. Right. Hit this. It won't go far, and it'll be fun. Come on. I, I, yeah, yeah. Come I don't know on. how to break things, Gallagher. There's some on the floor too. We should yeah, scoop yeah, that up. Yeah. What? Look, you're wasting. Good cake. It's all over the rug. That's why the French don't like me. We sent my act over to France, and they didn't like the fact that I was ruining food. They're screwed up people. <laughs> Gallagher is just covered in cake. The That's studio. Right there. Wow, Let's the cake went that. all the way over there. Nice pile of cake. Let's do this. Hey, you do it. I'll put. I'll kneel. Come on. All right, Come Gallagher. On, fan. On. All right, fan gets to smash uh, the rest of the cake into Gallagher's face. Please smash his skull. Put him out of his. Put him out of his misery. All right, here we go. Man, man is smashing the rest of the cake. Oh my God! It's, it's, you got him good. You're a lunatic. You're you're insane. People have a stupid life. Yeah. They don't have fun. Yeah. You're having fun, it looks fun. like. Before me, Shamu didn't splash nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Just laid there wallowing. What about Blue Man Group? Well, they saw me. What yeah. about Core, Insane Clown Posse? Every amusement park in America has a splash <laughs> hey, ride. What would happen if we took the ketchup over there and smashed that there, Gallagher? <laughs> what? What? Now we're not having fun all of a sudden? No. What happened? Yeah, we can smash anything that's gooey. Water right, goes out flat, gooey goes up. Show me how you <laughs> smash uh, ketchup. Uh, well, ketchup with dynamics. E -Rock. Ketchup goes straight out the hole. All right. <laughs> E-Rock, get in front of the ketchup. No. Yes. It, it might take no. off like a rocket. This is what I want for my birthday. This is Opie's birthday present. That's right. This is what I want for my birthday. Take the top off. All right, take the top off. I smacked uh, a... Uh, <laughs> A mouthwash, and it took off like a rocket. I'm being sued by a guy with the word twist on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Gallagher's uh, uh, getting the get ketchup. Uh, well, oh, that's, no. your, that's your but problem. But that's because I'm 60 years old. <laughs> you're 60? Yeah. Uh, you're, God bless you, man. I don't have any testosterone now. Uh, being 60 years old and looking at a woman is like driving by McDonald's when you're not hungry, and you kind of wish you were. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm full. Uh, let it me... won't. It won't go. You know. It'll, it won't. No, I'm, I know it. I want to you open it, too. Tim. Hey, it... get the knife and cut the top of the. Oh plastic. boy! Now we're now knives. there's knives involved. This is a I know. It. One day, hey. I I usually cut a hole in the middle of the cake and put something gooey in it, like chocolate syrup, so it sticks to their faces yeah. better. And the other day, I left the knife on the table when I smacked it, <laughs> and we couldn't find the knife. It was in the third row. I can't <laughs> <Wow>. believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a thousand dollars a night for insurance, that's, and this is why. That's sweet. All right, okay. this that's is for sweet. my birthday, Iraq. Iraq, right. e get in front of the ketchup, every. Yes, Let's this is all I want for my birthday. I don't need gifts. I don't need birthday e cake. Hold yeah. on, we got uh, Gallagher. He's gonna be at the Stress Factory, New Brunswick, New Jersey, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, don't get that. Oh, get, get in front. There. Get Wait. Hit the balloons on the window. Oh, he's gonna try to hit the balloons on the window with the, oh, the please ketchup. Please go through the. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Game over. <laughs> game over. I hit the balloons on the window. <laughs> game over. <laughs> the whole pedestal broke, dude. Oh, everyone is the whole pedestal stuff. that everything was sitting on. Get, get me down. <laughs> game over. <laughs> Medic. What the hell? <laughs> oh, Jesus. What the? Oh, There's crap everywhere. Great. And he did hit the window with the ketchup. the thinker. Oh, yeah. Here, sitting on the <laughs> remains of the pedestal. Oh, they're going to make us uh, get a cleaning crew for the oh, studio. Yeah, we're so go. screwed. Did you get ketchup that? ended up over there? Yeah. Ketchup. On the computer? Oh, Look, I'm covered in stuff. <laughs>
Gallagher, you're insane. Now, uh... My opinion of politics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, 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 sir. <laughs> and the wow. world's condition and the poor people. I want to thank Stunt Brain for coming up uh, with the Gallagher ruining the studio bit. So blame idea. Stunt Brain. Yeah. Whose idea was <laughs> blame, this? Blame Stunt Brain. <laughs> hey, do we have one more thing over there? It is completely. No what could you possibly <laughs> smash now that's going to make it worse? I can't smash it on anything. Yeah. I've ruined the smasher table. Yeah, the, the smasher, smasher table, table is ruined. <laughs> Hey, uh, no, you don't want to do uh, cottage cheese. The little balls just roll over. You can't clean them up. <laughs> right, right. But it is cool when the curds fly, just like on the news. I, I would love you to take uh, the mallet to the entire table over there. Of goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve's shaking his head no. <laughs> Steve, How are we going to clean this business. place? You just serve like, it slower. How do you clean the cake up? in here, doesn't it? There's, there's <laughs> crap mm. everywhere. It's not crap. It's a birthday cake and yes. some ketchup. Yeah. This was an honor. Look at that couch. Tim, you got wow. some? Wow. No. Oh, okay. You're just amazed? I'm amazed. Tim, clean up, please. <laughs> Did any I want to do the Burt Reynolds. Why is he Gallagher has no shirt on. Oh, yeah, he's laying in the cake and ketchup that is on the couch. Burt Reynolds. Hold on. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? Oh, man. He rules. Yeah, He's Gallagher without a shirt. In Gallagher cake does on roll. The sofa here. Well, yeah. I only did half of the Burt Reynolds. The other half uh, was pantyhose. Hey, uh, what happened to pantyhose? You don't see that anymore. Yeah, well, thank God, right? Huh? Burt Reynolds was naked, though. He yeah. was naked. No, he had on pantyhose. Did he really? That was the reason. He put his hand between his legs. He did the centerfold in Cosmo years ago. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. And he yeah. put his hand between his legs to cover up. Uh, uh, Joe Namath. What was put on obviously the smaller than a handful. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, Joe Namath did the pantyhose. Oh, Joe Namath. I got yeah. him mixed up with that uh, with Burt Reynolds. That yeah, happened. Burt Reynolds was naked. He, I'm sick. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, that looked like this Bruder film. <laughs> did we uh, catch up going off? Did we talk wow. about everything? Oh, there's nothing. What else are we going to cover? I yeah, mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the you really are insane, dude. The Stress Factory. I am not not they're lucky to Friday, have you. Saturday, Sunday. It makes sense to have fun. It releases endorphins when you laugh. My videos were used in cancer <laughs> research, and the doctors came to my show, and they said, we discovered that watching your videos released endorphins and helped the body to fight cancer, and we're using it in heart research now. And I said, well, I had a heart attack. And they said, well, you don't laugh at your jokes. It's hard to take it serious. I mean, you got barely any clothes on. you got cake all over <laughs> yourself. Cake. You're sitting in ketchup. What are you trying to say, Gallagher? What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that you can take a man with cake yeah. on his nose. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Sam, are you it is an amazed? intelligent decision to uh -huh. laugh. Do us a favor. We're the only animal that laughs. I think we shouldn't think things are so damn important. Do us a favor. Uh, we secretly hate Vinny at the Stress Factory. Yeah. <laughs> No, I actually want to do I'm this. I'm going to knock we... his phone off of the wall. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Please yes. do that. Because Damn what's phone. on stage <laughs> is seen all the time you're doing your act. That's why I hate these comics that have to have a stool and a bottle of water. How sissy. George Burns was 90 years old and sucking a cigar, and the son bitch didn't need a drink while he did Jimmy, his get rid of the water How presumptuous to <laughs> think you can take a sip and hydrate. Oh, you need to hydrate. You know how dehydrating comedy is. Now you're making fun of our uh, little Jimmy Norton. I just filmed thirsty. an HBO show. You do night. not get thirsty. You're I a, do. a slave to trends and fashion, and you think it's a tradition to have the a damn slave thing. to trends. I'm wearing a kiss shirt. Is what there are you bricks about? behind the? Is there bricks on the wall? Do you do comedy in front of bricks? <laughs> well, like the improv. Yeah. Oh, cripes. What are you gonna do, Tom? The bricks <laughs> and a bottle of water and a stool. Uh, Thomas Overbeck from Dallas writes. Let's take a picture to remember the day we spilled the ketchup. <laughs> we take pictures at my show. I invite everybody to bring their cameras, yeah. and then I teach them how to use them. When you take a picture, make the face big. Everybody pays a lot for one of those big chips, and then you don't hardly use it. The damn uh, face is tiny, tiny. Then they say, I can zoom in. It makes it grainy, you schmuck. You learn to use your camera yep. before you hand it to a stranger to take a picture with a celebrity. I'm so sick and tired of grinning while they learn how to use it. I'm tired. I'm just tired. You're too old for that crap, right? But people need to have some memories. They sure. need to have a decent life. That's yeah. why I want to make the family reunion things. People are having a stupid life. Buildings are the set for the scenes of our lives, Ooh. and we need to give people a dramatic life. Ooh. Well, with that, we got to say uh, yep. thanks, no, for, I can, thanks for I can get uh, Gallagher out to stop. And, uh, no, my words of wisdom for everyone is you don't fry bacon naked. <laughs> <laughs>
A lot of people don't know that. Well, I guess you learn it. A lot of people, you know, people, people say that, know that cleanliness is next to godliness. Yeah. I looked it up in the dictionary. Goggles is actually next to <laughs> Cleanliness is next to claustrophobia and cleavage. <laughs> you know, they say to eat before you go to the grocery store. That way you don't buy so much. Well, that don't work with the liquor store. If you go there <laughs> drunk, you buy everything they got. I own two little liquor stores near my house. Yeah. <laughs> I get them to turn the lights down. They always have the lights too bright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, they, I don't know what else to say. That Isn't was... it time to go to one of the commercials that's hiding the fact that you're really paying a lot of money with some? <laughs> <laughs> We're actually ending the the show. Gal. The show is over. Yeah, oh, we, yeah. we got to find get... someone to uh, clean up this mess. But no, uh, hey, that's no the next guy's problem. That's yep. uh, you know that's how we always have looked at it. You're right. <laughs> you're really, you're so really right. Have. We walk away from this. We walk away from the the destruction we cause. Well, usually you don't do anything visual on the radio. Well, well we do a lot of visuals. Yeah. Because yeah. we understand the Internet, and, and the, your video will be up on uh, our sites. And I love It'll be viewed Isn't like it? crazy. Sure. I'm working on two new websites. One's called Smash My Face. When somebody uh, irritates you, you take their picture, you send it to Smash My Face, you mutilate it there, put it back in your uh, camera, and show the person what you'd like to do to them physically, but you only do to them virtually. And I need some people, to, uh, artists and code writers, to help to fill this thing out. And my other one is called The Dance Pyramid, where you take a video of yourself dancing and put it on this pyramid and people vote on it and you work your way to the top and i think that could be some fun too i'm cutting edge i'm He's with the kids thinking yeah. i am yeah. i want i'm in there i'm gonna make i know millions on that slot machine idea as soon as the people yeah. at caesar's palace harris gives me a call hey. don't make me go to mgm don't make me go to mgm <laughs> sam what do you got I, it was just it, there's ketchup all over the window that's all the way across the room. Oh, I yeah, know. but people that's clean what he was windows. To do. Who's going to clean the desk <laughs> side here? And the, you know, there's oil and sugar frosting. That's yeah. what the problem is. Ah, that's going to be a problem. He but we could get some about, rats uh, with big tongues. He knows about a lot about uh, cleaning up things. What happens? Because I usually snacks. end up cleaning. The crew comes in and they're sissies. They don't just dig in and get it done. Damn it. And so I end up cleaning the theaters also because um, I, I do a good job, whether it's make the mess or clean it up. I do a good job. <laughs> I hope I'm a, I'm I hope you destroy the stress factory this weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just I'm supposed point. to avoid stress and I'm working at the stress factory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> really? That's How long ago did you have a heart attack? I had it in the year 2000 when I was suing my brother because he wouldn't stop what I said he could do to begin with and decided to hook up with a bunch of um, of uh, cheaters that was advertising him as the real Gallagher and saying I was in drug rehab. And I wasn't in well, drug Well, he looked rehab. just like you, too. That was no, my thing, too. No, he didn't. I meet a guy in my audience every night that looks more like me than my brother. I don't, you know, we had the same parents. That's why he had a resemblance. So and, he was going out as you. and you But I told doing. him to because I was trying to stop Carrot Top from doing a smashing act in the clubs because I was afraid that he was going to start that, you know, uh, because he was, he you was were doing copying the... me in every other way. Striped shirt, m a microphone around his neck, a box full of props. You were I doing it. And you were doing theater, so you wanted to make sure in the club atmosphere that... I've uh, got so many jokes. Yeah. Why couldn't more people enjoy my comedy? <laughs> All my brother had to do was say my jokes, and they get a laugh. So you why, know? why did it go so bad? The other way, what would a chair look like? What makes Teflon stick to the pan? Why does net zero cost nine ninety five? Why? What? Yeah, exactly. What happened? What went wrong with your brother? The, he got with some promoters that decided that the twelve dollar ticket was giving away the fact that it wasn't me, and if they charged twenty two, then people would assume it was me. Then they played the music before the show loud, so people couldn't talk and tell each other that it wasn't me. And then they had the credit cards uh, in the lobby and had the people sign their credit card before they went in, so they felt as though there was no way they could get their wow. money back. And uh, that's not what I've done all my life. I've been a friend of my fans and give them a, the real thing. Uh, I give a long show. Uh, if you'll sit there, I'll do three hours. Wow. So your brother, you had to sue him. Why? He just didn't want to stop. He got to yeah. get the money. Well, he's just another stupid human. All he had to do was listen to me. Instead, it cost me $200,000. I could have put all three of his kids through college. Instead, he decides to be an idiot. And now his kids are stupid. And, uh, and he doesn't have a job. <laughs> Made a lot of sense. And your family sided with him. Why did the family side with him and not you? That's where he got the stupidity. <laughs> the question is, how did a smart guy come from two stupid people? <laughs> Do you ever notice this real tall guy and he has two short parents? Well, that's what happened somehow. I don't know. So you don't talk to your parents or your brother? 
No, but I have millions and millions of fans, and so and, I'd and much rather it. have people who love me than have to put up with people that just I'm related to. I mean, I, I don't care. Right you don't on, miss man. your family? No, I dealt with them for years and years. Don't uh, you know? I'm done. You know, if you don't, uh, uh, if you don't act right, I don't need to hang around you. The music is playing, which means they're going to cut us off. But uh, one of my favorite bookings. Oh my God! A Please long, come back soon. Long time. Please come back soon. Really? Are you going to be in New York for a while? No, nobody. <laughs> likes if I was, if I was doing a show, I just did one at Gramercy, and like twenty-five people showed up. They you... don't care about me. It's all Koreans and uh, foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna sell out at the Stress Factory. Yeah, the Stress Factory. You're gonna sell the shows out. Yeah, Stress Factory, New Brunswick, New Jersey. Uh, Vinny's really lucky to have no, you. I'm telling you right now. Phone. Losing the phone. And, and now, Should I knock the phone off the who wall? Who needs this a weekend? pay phone now? Anyway, everybody's got a cell and now phone. I'm thinking we we need, don't need public libraries. Now anymore. I'm thinking we need to get them on the, the internet. I, I'm thinking we need to get them on the virus tour this summer. Can you imagine Gallagher in front of our animals? Oh my God. I'll, I'll, we're we're going to need to talk. Gallagher, well, thank you. Dirty joke. How do you make pickle bread? Dildo. You got to hit them hard <laughs> and hit them low. <laughs> hit them hard, hit them low. Don't give them a chance. <laughs> Gallagher, it was it was uh, it was a pleasure. I gotta tell you, you were right. great. It, great. It was amazing. We'll have you back uh, as soon as we can, obviously. Uh, Gallagher at the Stress Factory. We're out of here. Piece of cake. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know who's cleaning up this studio, but it's not going to be us. Let's get the show on the road. Oh my God! Good morning. It's a live show. The first one in a few days. Yeah. It's, hi. It's Tuesday, May twenty seventh, two thousand eight. Last we left you. Last we left you, actually, this place was a disaster. Certainly was. Uh, we had Gallagher in here. By the way, of course, we've been gone a few days, so something was tweaked. Yeah, a little odd. You, you can something hear, right? Sounds a little, a little muddy. Maybe Tim could like uh, do some adjustments. But anyway, uh, last we left you, we had Gallagher in here. Yeah. And he destroyed the studio, and we said goodbye, goodbye to everybody. We're going to enjoy a long weekend. So we just long. walked out and left this place a complete disaster. Just assuming that somebody would clean up our mess. Gallagher did what Gallagher does. He smashed stuff with his uh, big mallet. Hey, it's not our fault that uh, this fine radio station didn't plan ahead. Everyone knew we had Gallagher coming in. Lay down the plastic. Lay down the plastic. Wherever yeah. he goes, they have to lay down the plastic. Mm -hmm. He played the stress factory. Danny was down there. He can't believe... They were able to clean up that place. Yeah. The amount of stuff he smashes. But, you know, this radio station, they allowed Gallagher to sit here knowing eventually he was going to smash stuff. Yeah. Not our fault. But I heard there was a lot of bitching and complaining. All those two shock jocks. Oh, those, really? Those meddling shock jocks. Shock jocks. There's still ketchup and cake all over the place, by the way. Not all over the place. I shouldn't say that. I mean, they a couple of places. I got I got ketchup here on the edge of the console, which is a little annoying because it's where I kind of grab onto the console. Yeah. And it's sticky. Yeah. And I hate sticky. But and then uh, there's also cake on the dump button. <laughs> so if I have to lunge over and dump out, I'm going to get cake on my finger. I hope you slip because there's cake on the button and we get fired. Oh, and I can blame it on cake. You can blame it on the greasy cake that uh, they spent about uh, three or four <clears> days. <clears throat> steam cleaning this place and we're still seeing remnants of Gallagher's appearance. <laughs> yeah, you can see the windows are kind of smeared. Like they tried to clean it but they're all streaked with ketchup. Yeah. Cake I, was everywhere, ketchup was everywhere. everywhere. And Than is the star of the YouTube Ooh. Gallagher video I see, Than. How, how does that make fan. you feel? I'm sorry, I was wiping down a counter. Yeah, it's still wiping. <laughs> see, they're still wiping and cleaning. Yeah. I've yet to see the finished product. I can't wait. Oh. Yeah, you're the star of the Gallagher video. It's up there on YouTube. Wow. If you want to check it out. Do I come off as handsome? <laughs> well, let's just put it this way. When you were in front of um, the cake smashing, yeah. it was such a dud of a shot that uh, your your boy Sam there, young Sam, had to like put the, the footage in reverse to make it go, whoop, and then the cake oh, appears no. again. Oh, he did in one of those YouTube videos <laughs> yeah. where it goes reverse and forward five times. Because it's yeah. not that impressive if you just roll it. Yeah. But it's uh, Gallagher Destroys the Opie and Anthony Studio. It's up on YouTube. I'm sure it's up on ONARadio.com as well.